The Nigerian Air Force was established in 1964 by an act of parliament to be the principal agency for the projection of air power in fulfillment of the nation's security imperatives. Since then, it has participated in several operations from the Nigerian Civil War of 1967 to 1970 to the ECOMARC operations in Liberia and Sierra Leone to the anti-militancy operations in the Niger Delta and the ongoing counter-insurgency operations against the Boko Haram terrorists in addition to several other internal security operations. The Nigerian Air Force has also projected air power beyond the shores of Nigeria in more recent times with its intervention in the Gambia towards restoring democracy and the airlift of relief materials to Sierra Leone and other countries in furtherance of the federal government's foreign policy initiatives. All these air operations could not have been successfully carried out without the availability of serviceable platforms and more importantly, the human beings that operate them. This short video clip is therefore aimed at giving a sneak peek into how Nigerian Air Force pilots are made. The starting point for the making of all Nigerian Air Force pilots who are all commissioned officers is the 401 Flying Training Wing located at the Nigerian Air Force Base Kaduna. At the moment, all officers or officer cadets to be trained as pilots must have first enlisted at the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna. However, in the past, the Nigerian Air Force also directly enlisted potential pilots who did not have to go through the Nigerian Defense Academy. There is an Air Force wing at the Nigerian Defense Academy where officer cadets that had been accepted as potential pilots received training tailored towards making them future Nigerian Air Force officers. The training usually includes instructions in airmanship, air navigation and other skills required to be a good pilot, among others. In their fifth year at the Nigerian Defense Academy, potential pilots report at 401 Flying Training School where they are given an initial briefing after which they report to the 061 Aeromedical Center, Kaduna, for a comprehensive checkup to determine if they are medically fit for flying. For those found to be medically fit, it is now time for the first phase of training as pilots in the Nigerian Air Force. The primary flying training which usually begins with a ground school at 401 Flying Training School, Karuna begins. Thereafter, the student pilots undergo a survivor training, the aim of which is to prepare them to survive in any environment they might be forced to eject into. The survivor training includes rigorous physical fitness training, how to land with a parachute after ejecting or jumping out of an aircraft, training in unarmed combat, weapons training and field tactics.
Following the survival training, the student pilot is then ready to start actual flying, which also include an aircraft simulator experience for cost effectiveness and enhanced safety in flying training. Aircraft currently used for primary flying training in the Nigerian Air Force are Diamond 40 aircraft and the recently acquired Pakistan Super Mushak aircraft. After several flying training exercises under the tutelage of an instructor pilot, the student pilot would go for the first solo flight after he or she must have accumulated a minimum of 14 flying hours and is deemed ready by the instructor pilot. Then comes the tradition of pouring water on the student pilot 
who successfully completes he or her first solo flight. The student pilot goes on to consolidate with more flights until cleared by the instructor pilot as having successfully completed the ab initial flying training, acquiring a minimum of 50 total flying hours in the process. A graduation ceremony follows before the student pilot proceeds for the second phase of flying training, known as basic flying training. Basic flying training in the Nigerian Air Force for potential fighter and transport pilot is usually conducted at 403 Flying Training School, Kano, while potential helicopter pilots proceed directly to the International Helicopter Flying School at the Nigerian Air Force Base, Enugu. During the basic flying training, Nigerian Air Force student pilots again undergo another ground school taking cognizance of the aircraft type they would be flying while training. Similarly, the students are able to again enjoy the advantages of cost effectiveness and enhanced safety provided by a simulator during their basic flying training. After several flying training exercises under the tutelage of an instructor pilot, the student pilot would go for the first solo flight when he or she is deemed ready by the instructor. The student pilot goes on to consolidate with more flights until declared by the instructor pilot as having successfully completed the basic flying training, acquiring a minimum of 120 total flying hours in the process. It is only after the successful completion of the basic flying training that the Nigerian Air Force students' pilots are winged in a colorful celebration. After becoming winged pilots, the young pilots then convert on an operational aircraft at 401 Flying Training School Kaduna for transport pilots. 113 Helicopter Combat Group for Helicopter Pilots and 117 Aircraft Combat Group for Fighter Pilots. Subsequently, the pilots are deployed for operational duties either in the Northeast or any theater operations as might be necessary in pursuance of the constitutional responsibilities of the Nigerian Air Force. This has been a glimpse of how Nigerian Air Force pilots are usually made.